Welcome to Emergency Insights. I'm James Carter. Today we're diving into a rare but critical diagnosis, pheochromocytoma. Joining us is endocrinologist Dr. Lin. Welcome to the show, Dr. Lin. Thank you, James. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is pheochromocytoma and why should emergency clinicians be aware of it? Pheochromocytoma is a rare neuroendocrine tumor that originates from chromaffin cells in the adrenal medulla. These tumors secrete excess catecholamines, mainly norepinephrine and epinephrine, leading to profound cardiovascular and metabolic effects. Although rare, the consequences can be life-threatening, especially when the condition is unrecognized or untreated. What kind of patients typically present with this condition? Are there any patterns in terms of age or underlying syndromes? It most often affects individuals in their 30s and 40s, though it can occur at any age. About 30% of cases are hereditary, linked to syndromes like MEN2, NF1, and von Hippel-Lindau disease. These patients are more likely to have bilateral tumors. So a detailed family and genetic history is crucial. And clinically? What symptoms should raise our suspicion? The classic triad includes episodic headache, sweating, and palpitations, often accompanied by paroxysmal or sustained hypertension. You might also see pallor, anxiety, nausea, and weight loss. Importantly, some patients are completely asymptomatic and the tumor is discovered incidentally on imaging. If we suspect pheochromocytoma in the ED, What's the next step diagnostically? The gold standard is biochemical confirmation, either plasma-free metanephrines or 24-hour urinary catecholamines and metanephrines. Imaging with CT or MRI follows to localize the tumor. In unclear cases, functional imaging like MIBG or PET scans can be used. And if the presentation is atypical or familial, genetic testing should be pursued. Let's talk about management. How do we prepare these patients for surgery? Preoperative medical optimization is essential. Start with alpha blockade typically phenoxybenzamine, to control hypertension and prevent intraoperative crises. After adequate alpha blockade, beta blockers may be added if tachycardia persists. Volume expansion with liberal salt intake is also recommended to stabilize intravascular volume before surgery. And the surgery itself? Definitive treatment is adrenalectomy, ideally performed laparoscopically. In hereditary or bilateral cases, cortical sparing surgery may preserve adrenal function. But if both adrenal glands are removed completely, the patient will need lifelong steroid replacement. How should we approach malignant pheochromocytomas? They're rare but aggressive. Management often requires a combination of surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. Five-year survival from metastatic cases ranges from 34 to 60 percent. Again, early diagnosis is key. And post-op follow-up, can patients expect a cure? Many are cured, but recurrence is not uncommon, even years later. So lifelong follow-up is necessary with regular monitoring of blood pressure and catecholamine levels. Dr. Lin, before we wrap up, What's the most important takeaway for emergency clinicians? Always maintain a high index of suspicion in patients with unexplained paroxysmal hypertension or classic symptoms. Early recognition, prompt biochemical workup, and referral can prevent catastrophic cardiovascular events. Excellent advice. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Lin. My pleasure, James. That's it for this episode of Emergency Insights. Stay sharp and stay safe.